Hi everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here. <laughs> That's my bird, can you hear him? Speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Um, I'm going to do some readings. I promised yesterday that I would get to it, and I finally have gotten it to gotten to it today. Today is the um, the 16th of November, and it's a Saturday. Um, I did watch um, some of the um, impeachment stuff, and uh, I thought all the um, all the I guess witnesses, I guess you would call them, uh, were exceptional. Uh, and of course, I especially loved uh, Marie Ivanovich, who was the picture of grace and poise, um, and just she just had such a, a lovely energy about her, um, a quiet strength, and uh, a seriousness, and and somebody who takes her job to heart. Uh, and I can appreciate that and I can understand that. Um, I see that, uh, you know, I, I see that in a lot of women, um, women who have important, um, uh, important jobs. Um, you see it in men too, but, uh, there's just, just, just something that women have. Um, and I think in part it's because we generally have to work twice as hard, uh, to get places. Uh, and, uh, so we, we are in uh, naturally sort of hold ourselves up to a higher standard. Now there may be people that don't agree with that, but that's been my experience. Um, so, um, I already shuffled the cards. I already started this reading and then it inadvertently, uh, hit the button to stop the reading. And I don't know how to put videos together. Uh, I'm on this new computer of mine. So I'm going to start all over again. Um, so I, these sh cards have been shuffled. I only got to, to the third card and I messed the, the video up. So, so this is a reading on Marie Ivanovich. So the first card we get is the Ace of Swords. Okay. And the Ace of Swords is, uh, and this is the, uh, immediate environment. And so, um, she came, she struck me, um, even before we got to see her when she did her testimony, um, her private, I don't think they call it private anyway, testimony. Uh, there was a sense that she was, um, maybe she was the the queen of cups that we kept seeing in, in the cards, all the readers see the queen of cups. Um, there's a sense of, um, you know, pulling the finger out of the dike and then every, everything flows from that. And so that's what this card says to me. This card says to me that she was the start. Um, and we have the infinity sign here, if you can see that on the side here. And so there's this sense of, as you sow, so shall you reap. What you give out, you get back. And uh, and I and I feel as though um, that will be true for her, and that will be true for uh, Donald Trump and all his um, his minions. Um, there's also lightning bolts in this card, in this particular deck, and um, there is a certain divine intervention here, or even divine, um, providence. There's this providence here as if this was the way, uh, it, it was supposed to, uh, work out. Um, she kind of had a Joan of Arc quality to her. I thought, uh, just, just lovely. And I liked that she was wearing red because red is the color of the warrior. So she, she knew some things, I think, uh, if not, actually knew those things, intuitively knew those things. Let's see what's crossing it. We have the Ten of Swords. So um, the Ten of Swords is about the end, right? The, ten, the Ace of Swords is the beginning. The Ten of Swords is the end. On some level, this is the challenge. Uh, her challenge was that she knew if she, um, if she spoke up and said something, that something was going to end for her. And um, I think the thing maybe her an an anonymity. Um, these people, although they're known in the areas that they know them, you know, that they're known in, um, and they do their job quite well, you know, your average person isn't going to know who Marie Ivanovich is. And now all of a sudden everybody knows who Marie Ivanovich. So you take on a whole different sort of persona. It really does change and shift your life, uh, whether things work out well for you or not. Um, everything. So it, it, it does change everything for you. So I think she knew that coming in. Um, this also indicates that the beginning and the end are the same. And so if you come in with, um, with 
good intention, um, you get the, the rewards to that. If you go come in with evil intention, uh, then you do pay for that at some point. So um, there's a contrast here between her and the people who um, who got her out of her position, uh, got her out of the way so that they could be corrupt. She was a great proponent um, of, she was a great anti-corruption proponent, and she worked really hard for that in the Ukraine. And uh, she was almost like the moral compass that they knew they had to get rid of before they could um, they could do their dastardly deeds, as it were. So this is at the root of the situation. We have the Two of Swords. So there was a stalemate. Uh, what's interesting in this deck is that the Two of Swords, um, we have a, uh, a solar eclipse here, you can see. Now, the sun in astrology, in mundane astrology, um, deals with the leader of the country. And uh, the moon, of course, is the feminine. And the feminine has eclipsed the sun here. I actually have done her numbers, and although we don't have a time of birth, uh, we can do a solar chart or a noon chart on her, and I think I'm going to uh, get that. I, I already sort of did it, like, but I didn't put it on anything that you could actually see, so um, I did it on scrap paper, but I'm going to, um, we're going to do that. I'm going to pull it up, and, and uh, we'll look at her and uh, get some more uh, ideas about, uh, about her. Let's see what's in the past. Okay, we have the um, we have the seven of uh, pentacles. Now, what's interesting, um, the seven of pentacles is about work, but work that was unfinished or not quite ready. And she was an anti-corruption um, diplomat. That, that was her specialty. And the president of the Ukraine uh, got in on an anti-corruption platform. And they got rid of her when he got in. So there is this sense of, you know, her making, taking all these steps, but not being able to finish. There was this sense of unfinished business, um, which I'm sure for somebody like her was very difficult. Okay, so in the sky, we have the three of cups. And and the first thing I thought of when I looked at this was uh, singing her praises. These little birds are singing her praises. The Three of Cups is a celebration card. Um, it is associated uh, in the Kabbalah with Baina, which is the divine feminine or the energy of the feminine. There's friendship here. There's joy. There's happiness. There's celebration. Um, it's just a very lovely card. And so she is being celebrated she was given a standing ovation when she finished, um, even though the um, the Republicans were like grumbling about Adam Schiff, who I'm going to do a reading on. He was fabulous in my mind anyway. <laughs> he was just hard ass and I loved it. I loved it. Okay. Uh, immediate, immediate future for Marie. Okay. We have the 10 of, um, this is the 10 of wands. And uh, there's a, quite a tangle here, a lot of connections. So uh, this is, in other, in other decks, it's the burden bearer. And uh, she continues to sort of uh, hold the burden here. There's, there's still a lot of interference for her. There's still a lot of uh, uh, onus. Um, but I don't know if you can see the, the, the core of this, like in the center here, there is light. So the light is coming in um, and tens are at the end. And so it's almost over. It's almost over for her. I think within six weeks, um, because that's generally the, the time frame for that position of the card. Um, you know, she'll still have that. There'll still be issue, but I think she's going to be fine. I think she's going to eventually be able to let go of the burden. How it's seen from the outside, the Hierophant. Um, this is interesting because we have the raven here. Um, symbolically, the raven, or in, in animal medicine, the raven is magic. And so there's a magical component here. The Hierophant is the body, right? It's, it's, the, it's the constitution. It's, it's how the country uh, is sort of, uh, it's how the country is, is organized how uh, how uh, an organization is organized 
Um, it can be associated with tradition in some in some decks, um, but to me it feels like how it's all put together. This five card is associated with Taurus. Of course, we have Uranus in Taurus now, and uh, we just had that Taurus full moon in the middle of all of this. So, <laughs> so there is a real energy of Taurus. Um, we have the key here, sort of the key to the city. We have the lightning bolts again. This says to me, a. Um, I think her coming and saying what she said has woken people up to the reality of the importance of diplomacy. I think she has become the poster child for the need for diplomacy um, and just how important that is. It's something we don't generally see. Uh, we see the military because we see them blowing shit up all the time, uh, but we don't see the people who sort of hold it all together. I think the diplomatic corps and the State Department is sort of the connective tissue uh, of the body, and um, and the military is the muscle. But without the connective tissue to hold it together, the muscles can't function. So... So I think that this brings an enlightenment and an awareness about this particular uh, part of the deep state, uh, <laughs> right? Uh, but we see that we have these people who are quite intelligent and 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 know in relation to somebody like Sondland who doesn't know what the hell is going on, and uh, hopefully will be the downfall of the ultimate downfall of Trump see the um domestic situation and so she she just wants to hide out she's like uh i sh i i gave my wisdom i offered my wisdom i sh i shown the light and um i'm gonna i'm gonna rest for a while i'm just gonna go back and uh you know don't <laughs> don't bug me <laughs> i don't know if she actually says that but she she wants uh she wants to feel safe again she wants to feel safe again she's and she i know she doesn't feel safe um, uh, because you know, Trump threatened her in the middle of the uh, um, the hearing. Hopes and fears. Okay, we have the five of of wands. The five of wands is change, uh, new ideas, uh, changing ideas. Uh, you know, sort of throwing your your stav in the ring here. Um, I think she's hoping for change. Certainly, change from what has happened to her and 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 this this whole Trump policy. Um, let's see the outcome. Okay, we have the Three of Swords, and so this is heartbreak. So, the Three of Swords is generally betrayal and heartbreak. But there's a quality to the Three of Swords is, of course, it's suffering. Um, but beyond the suffering is a freedom. Um, it's sort of, um, we have the Two of Swords where we have um, sort of the stalemate. And the next card is the Three of Swords. Uh, the stalemate is broken. And that stalemate being a breaking is, is a heart. It can be a heartbreaking um, thing. And I know that. When I saw her, I felt, I felt her, her disappointment and her heartbreak that she couldn't do her work, that she was prevented from doing that which she was there to do at a time when it was so very important uh, for somebody like her to be there. And uh, I think that was really heartbreaking for her, quite frankly. Okay, let's see if we can pull a major arcana. We have the Seven of Swords. The Six of Cups, the Seven of Wands. Okay, let's see if we have something underneath. Okay, yeah, we have the Star. Inspiration. And so she will both be inspired. Um, she will have to find uh, her guiding star again. And uh, she is a guiding star for us. A symbol of somebody who quietly does the work that needs to be done um, to keep the world a better place, to uh, bring peace and cooperation. 
in the world. And that's a beautiful thing. And so we thank you, Marie Ivanovich. You are truly um, a her heroine. <laughs> thank you for your service. Um, and I mean, I, you know, on occasion I stick my neck out a little bit and, you know, for my, you know, what, 5,000 uh, uh, subscribers and, you know, whoever else views it. And it's, and when I get blowback, it's like, oh, but I, I can't even imagine, you know, taking on the president in a way, especially this president. So um, thank you, Maria. I hope you enjoyed this, um, this reading. Um, like and subscribe. I, um, <clears throat> so I've had a lot of requests for, uh, well, a few, <laughs> a lot. A lot for me, I guess, for people who want to donate to my channel. I, I never really had that as an option, but um, I do. There's a link below if you would like to donate uh, to me. If you find what I do helpful for you, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, and um, I am going to get some more uh, readings out. It's been very, um, it's been a challenging time for me with my mom, who's 99 now. So, um, it's mostly, I'm not getting the kind of sleep I should be getting because I have to get up in the middle of the night a lot. And I'm not, and I'm, I, I love to sleep. <laughs> ha! I love it. And I don't get to sleep and I'm a grumpy grump. And then there's so many other things that I have to do besides just, you know, taking care of mom. Um, you know, I have patients and I have clients and, and, and I have you guys that I want to keep, you know, informed. So, uh, so I appreciate your support, uh, whether it be a thumbs up, a like, a, a, you know, subscribing to my channel, a donation, whatever. I appreciate appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And I'll be back. I want to do a couple more readings today. So have a great day. Bye.